Hello everyone, welcome back to another exciting playthrough here of Wrath of the Righteous. When we left off last time, we had just uh, defeated the uh, denizens of the maze, uh, including Hosilla and her demon. Uh, we had maybe uh, decided that eating angel flesh, ASMR flesh, wasn't a bad bad deal, and sided with um, the uh, uh, rather scary... Um, uh, rather scary Wendwog uh, over over Lan. We sent Lan packing because <laughs> we don't need him around here. And we're trying to escape now and get back up to the city of Kenebris, which was ruined. So let's let's keep doing that. So we need to go upstairs and oh yeah, the joy of having to go through uh, all of the gear that we are leaving behind. I think if it's not magical, we're not taking it. So, I'm just going to scroll through here and make sure I didn't miss anything. Uh, doesn't look like it so far. Light mace and darts. Studded leather. Composite longbow. That that might be worth taking. What is that, three pounds? Sure. Go ahead and grab that. I mean, it's worth 100 gold, so they're, they're kind of worth taking. Um, this is really just me farming for loot. <laughs> But if it's not magic, or worth a lot, there's really no point in taking it. Because uh, I don't want to be encumbered. Being encumbered in this is kind of terrible. Not the end of the world, and if you're leaving a map and about to head... Unidentified? Wait a minute. Crypt Raider's armor? What are you? Plus six... Plus two inside bonus against undead. We don't want that. <laughs> I am, of course, joined. Uh, for those of you who maybe have missed earlier parts or need a reminder, I am playing a elf witch, uh, hex channeler, uh, who is decidedly evil. I'm playing an evil playthrough, uh, and I am intent upon becoming a lich, and I am accompanied, as always, by my evil uh, chicken familiar, Egathoa. <laughs> All right, scale mail. All right, I'm not seeing much in here. Awful lot of items. Okay, there I am at the bottom. Okay, um, there's one more composite longbow. I'm gonna take that. Um, I am at medium encumbrance now. I will cope with that for now. Um, All right. While the survivors wander the dungeons, the battle on the surface rages on. The warriors of Canabris are trying to defend the Wardstone, but their strength is flagging. Their resistance is valiant, yet it will all be in vain if no one rises up to turn the tide. Boy, I hope they're not counting on me. <laughs> I'm second level. Okay, so... Oh, we've got Horgus with us. That's great. Okay, take a look here. I'm gonna go get that loot in the back corner. Leave no loot behind. A piece of coal. I'm not taking a piece of coal. Alright, that's great. I'll take this. Alright, uh... Are you incense? All right. So, wait. Where'd the Where'd the two NPCs go? Did they just Did they just leave? Did they leave without me? Oh no, they're there. Horgus, what are you doing back here? Can I talk to you, Horgus? No, Horgus, Horgus is not interested in any of my nonsense. All right. <laughs> I 
Yeah, they are not interactable. I don't know if that's a glitch or not. That might be. Oh boy. Hey, hey, we arrived just in time to watch you finish the fight. Can we get some of the XP? <laughs> Irobeth. The half-orc before you wearing armor adorned with Iomide's golden swords is clearly exhausted. She obviously hasn't got much sleep over the last few days. There's soot on her face and fresh blood on her sword. Her hazel eyes are hard and focused, and her firm voice sounds accustomed to giving orders. She sizes you up, surprised judging whether you are friend or foe, and opens her mouth to ask you something, but freezes when she spots Anevia. I believe Irabeth is the character on the cover to part one of Wrath of the Righteous. We always do this thing on the cover of, of Adventure Paths where uh, we do kind of a splash image of some cool scene from the adventure, and then we do an interesting character who kind of violates the, the borders and uh, is pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, that's nifty. Oh, well, they seem to know each other. With an awkward hug. By the goddess, Nevi, I, I'd almost lost all hope. Everything's fine, Beth. I'm here. I'm here. This here's a new friend. He rounded up those of us who survived the fall and led us up to the surface. Without him, we'd never have made it out. Let me introduce you to my wife, Arabeth Tirabade, head of the Eagle Watch. Huh. Well, that explains why they're familiar. Until the army arrives, I'm the temporary warden of Canabras. And you're just in time. As you can see, we're in the middle of a battle. And thank you for getting Nevia out of there. Where, uh, where are we? The Grey Garrison. Until recently, it served as barracks for the Crusaders, but it's now been taken over by cultists. Cool. Cool. Uh, what kind of cultists are we talking about here? <laughs> what's, the, what's the target? What's the target of this battle? That's, well, all right. <laughs> when the demons attacked the city, their main target was the Wardstone. I trust I don't have to explain to you what the Wardstone is and how important it is to the Crusaders. We must retake it at any cost, or the fall of Canabras will be the beginning of the end of the Crusades, and with them, the rest of the world. Wardstones are a chain of powerful artifacts keeping the World Wounds expansion at bay. The first and greatest of the chain was erected in the city of Canabras by the hand of the Inheritor himself, a golden winged angel sent by the goddess Eomide. Eomide, by the way, is the Inheritor, called the Inheritor, because she took over uh, most of the duties and roles after Aridin's death, Mysteriously, a little over a hundred years ago in the world of Galarian. By the way, if you haven't caught on, hi, I'm Jason Bolden. I'm the director of game design at Paizo and uh, creator of, of Pathfinder. So, uh, but not the creator of our world. We got a lot of people uh, involved with kind of everything that we do. Um, so uh, this story, I actually don't know uh, all of or even a lot of. I only know bits and pieces because I work on rule books, not adventure paths. I see that you had a difficult journey to the surface. You need to rest. But there's a lot riding on this battle. I have no right to command you, but I'm asking you to help us. I have important information about the location of a cultist den. Uh, that seems, that seems good to mention. Sure. These cultists are not my friends. <laughs> Very good. Report to me in full when we get back to the Defender's Heart. It's our temporary headquarters. Right now, the most dangerous cultists are here. The ones occupying the Grey Garrison. Uh, let's see. Um, um, yeah, well, we'll just, we'll just wander down the choices here. These seem important. We met some mongrels who live beneath Canabras. This is Wendog. Most people in Canabras think that the children of the First Crusaders are simply a legend. Other people say that the day you emerge on the surface heralds the start of the end of the world. Well, I'm not superstitious, but the situation is apocalyptic, all right. Having a living legend on our side can't hurt. I don't, you know, I don't know if I'd be super thrilled as a people of being like, well, you came back and now the world has to end. It's like, what? No, wait, no, we're just, we're just, we just, 
we were trapped down there. <laughs> I see you are in serious need of help. You're in luck. If my master is with you, then I am with you also. Yeah, I have to admit, uh, you know, I played a bit of the beta and I played through this part, but none of the voice acting was in here yet. And uh, the voice acting is is really top notch, really good stuff. Um, Wendog is in particular a great, great voice. I'm looking forward to seeing how these adapt. The, the voice acting in, uh, in Kingmaker was good, but it was very limited. Um, what's the situation in the city? The city's gone. Most of the defenders, including the dragon Terendalev, fell in the first few hours. The civilians either fled or died in the chaos. The place is overrun with cultists and demons. Yeah, we saw Terendalev's faith. That was gruesome. Don't talk like that. Canabres hasn't fallen. Not while it still has defenders like you and me. Sure, sure. I mean, sure. <laughs> Sweet words don't change the grim truth. No, she's right. Thank you, Knight. Until we no longer have the strength to hold a weapon, until Iomade abandons us, we will fight for Knobras. I mean, Iomade isn't with all of us, so, you know, it's fine. <laughs> the Wardstones are a gift of Iomade. Created personally by her herald, a mighty angel, and a general of the Celestial Armies. The Wardstones keep the world wound from expanding. They stand along the border of the territory controlled by the demons, creating a barrier to keep them inside. The Canabras Obelisk was the first to be placed. It is the key to the whole barrier. We cannot leave it in the hands of those monsters from the Abyss. Uh, how'd the Wardstone end up here? <laughs> the demons have long laid siege to Canabras, but this time... Their Lord Descari appeared in the flesh. He ripped the Wardstone from the ground and hurled it halfway across the city to here. I thought the stone was destroyed, but it seems all is not lost yet. Descari has gone, but the Wardstone is surrounded by a horde of those creatures. What are they going to do to it? Nothing good, that's for certain. But how did he do that? He's a demon! The Wardstone should have burned his filthy hide! It should have. But what happened, happened. We don't know why. Uh, Sila is a great addition to this. I really enjoyed Amiri in the in Kingmaker as well. The, the iconic characters are a real treat uh, for us. They're, they're, they're some of our favorite uh, uh, personas in the world and they really are emblematic of the heroes of our game. So it's always fun to see them kind of brought to life. All right, uh, to battle, I guess? That's the spirit. Sure. <laughs> you, take Anavia to the rear. The rest of you with me. Horgus Gworm, you hear labored breathing interspersed with disgruntled moaning. Horgus is holding his rapier hilt in a white-knuckled grip. A bead of sweat trickles down his temple. Poor Horgus. <laughs> Lord Horgus Gworm, forgive me. I did not realize we had civilians among us. My people will escort you somewhere safe. <laughs> to the extent that anywhere in Canabras can Make be said him to be fight. safe right Make now. him fight. <laughs> Orgus Gworm is such a... Uh, such a Pathfinder name. I, I, I'm not sure if Eric invented that name, but it feels like he did. Um, you know, in the early days of the, the, the campaign setting, we all did a lot of work on it, right? I mean, I haven't written Adventure Paths, but I have written bits and pieces of the world setting. Um, a lot of the stuff around the Lake and Carthen region was written by me. Um, you know, a lot of, uh, kind of some of the stuff in Absalom was written by me, but only some of it. Um, I had a lot to do with, uh, kind of the, uh, apps, uh, the Starstone Cathedral and the myths around that and the, the Avenue of the Hopeful and all that kind of stuff. Um, I had a lot to do with the Whispering Tyrant and his whole thing. I'm hoping that one day, uh, we'll get a cool Whispering Tyrant, uh, computer game. That'd be, that'd be awesome. Uh, but, you know, I'm kind of all over the place uh, in the world. Horgus Worm, though, definitely sounds like an Eric Mona name, so I, I'm not sure what's up with Let me go ahead and get a save in here. Okay. Uh, so, we've got some, some dead demons. If you don't mind, I'm just going to go uh, see if they got anything. Masterwork Bardish. 
Oh, those are really heavy. I'm going to pick them up for now, but they're really heavy. Staunton Vane. Hello. Who, who are you? Okay, recruits and recruits. What else is going on in here? Okay, so... Are we supposed to go this way? I'll go ahead. Okay. In that case, we should probably get going. <laughs> Did you kill all the cultists, or are we just we just trailing behind you? Do not waver. Oh, all right. Hey, that guy. Come here, you. I'm gonna evil eye your AC. Scroll of Bane, Scroll of Bane, Scroll of Divine Favor, Masterwork Clay, Masterwork Clay, Masterwork Scythe. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to take as many Masterwork items as they will give me, because they do sell decently. But it is going to ruin my weight carrying here. Crossbow, heavy crossbow. Okay. I know the way. All right. I hope you appreciate this. Hey, loot. We found the secret loot cave. And potions of inflict light wounds. <laughs> I love the fact that they included potions of inflict light wounds. It's like, those only have one purpose. <laughs> You're not going to get somebody else to drink one of those unless they're undead. I'll go ahead and get a save and we'll head on up to the second floor. Oh, hey, it's the ward zone. <laughs> hey, I know you. You're one of these cultists. How's it going, pal? Want to join? Your lot will all be dead soon, but we'll be alive. How cheery. <laughs> I, uh, I can't. Come on, leave those losers. The crusades are over. Soon the demons will rule the whole world. I'm just going to play this conversation as if they're both super cheery and just hanging out, talking about what, you know, what sports team to support. Here goes nothing! All hail Baphomet! Cool. Cowardly traitor! I swear on the sword of Iomide. <laughs> okay. So, I've got a whole bunch over here that I should probably focus on. That's a lot. I don't, oof. That's rough. Um... Okay, um, I feel like this might be a time for burning hands if I can get it off, um, but not quite yet. Let me, cultist, cultist, cultist. All right, let me just hit a cultist. I think I can get the burning hands off now and only hit them. Uh, I think... I'm pretty sure that spell failed, unfortunately. I think I provoked. I think I was too close. That's a lot. Um, I should 
probably wand myself at this point. What's everybody else doing? Oh, that's not good. Negative channelers? That's no fair. That's my tactic for later. <laughs> okay. I think that got him. <laughs> uh, yeah, the thing about burning hands, like, I, I think it's going to be really hard for me to use much in this game. I should probably swap it out. The, the way that the NPCs move, if I were doing turn-by-turn, turn-based, turn it would probably work out a lot better, but... Come here, allies. What are we doing? Before we go running off, and I know you're eager to go running off. I will help where I can. Let me get in here and let me let me drink a bunch of potions. They've been giving out potions to cure light wounds like candy, so I might as well keep everybody at full with those if I can, especially now that the fight is over. Come on we got here. I crave your commands. What do we got? Scrolls of Doom. I mean, look at all these potions of cure light wounds. They're just raining from the sky. I, I, I have more than I could ever use. Now, I think they were fighting some other bad guys over here. So I should be able to go and get some of their loot as well. Yeah. More potions of cure light wounds. Masterwork longbows, glaives. One of the things I do love about traveling with that damnable chicken is the fact that it's constantly making chicken noises. <laughs> Just bringing the barnyard to my dungeon. Roll of cure light. Oh, and that's locked. Yeah, of course. Well, I mean, honestly, you know, I think they give you a lot of potions and scrolls and consumables just so that you're not constantly feeling like you need to rest, right? I mean, there's a lot of combats in here, and it's real easy to burn through most of your consumables, most of your uh, consumable daily character resources. So, yeah. All right, so we got everybody down there. I'm going to go ahead and hit a save. How is everyone doing? Let me take a look at my inventory here. I have a sneaking suspicion. Yeah, I'm just about to hop over. Yeah, I'm gonna start getting fatigued. My travel speed's gonna be slower. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm at the point now where I have to either decide to just cope with a whole bunch of fatigue or leave stuff behind. I'm not gonna leave behind masterwork stuff if I don't have to, so. Okay, we're leaving this floor behind. Uh, I think I got everything that is worth getting. Let me just make sure I didn't miss any loot piles. Doesn't look like it. That's not magical, right? No. Okay. No. okay. Well, there won't be any going back. <laughs> I 
Uh oh. What's this? Do we have guests? <laughs> Just oh boy. in time. The place is a bit of a mess, and I haven't even poured the blood into the goblets yet. Why don't you? Oh. Well. The the eyeless devil or demon is a delight. <gasps> What an unexpected surprise! Staunton, my little sweetheart. Long time no see. I've missed you so much. Have you missed me? Admit it. You missed me terribly. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> Staunton hasn't talked yet. Uh, I, I, this, this aged dwarf from Irabeth's troop, silent and inil, until now, spits on the floor. His hardened, craggy face, like a storm-weathered stone, twists as if in pain. I like him already. I like dwarves. More dwarves. Minago, the one who. Be careful. She's one of the deadliest creatures in the whole demon horde. She was once responsible for a massacre in Canabras. She must be back to finish what she started. <laughs> Staunton, do you know this demon? Chaotic. Hey, demon woman, what's wrong with your face? <laughs> You're right, I can't. But can I? <laughs> I think I can. Oh, how rude. <laughs> You're one to talk, mortal, with a face that even a mother would loathe. Staunton, sweetie. You're not going to let your friends speak to me like that, are you? Dothras is evil. <laughs> and mean and rude. <laughs> that wench? She's the one who led me astray. She's the reason my life has gone to the abyss. She's the reason why Dresden fell. <gasps> Dresden fell. Oh my. Like butter wouldn't melt. What I remember is how <laughs> eagerly you would run to our trysts, how you begged to see me again, how you promised you'd do anything I asked. By your own free will, you said this. And now you claim that Dresden fell because of me. No, no, my dear. That was entirely your own doing. Well, I mean, you know. I'll beat your lying lips into your filthy throat! <laughs> Listen, Staunton, it's okay. Happens, happens to the best of us. <laughs> now, Staunton, don't say things like that. Not about these lips, the ones you kissed so sweetly. Staunton, dearest, don't you love me anymore? Remember how good we were together? I was so hoping that we could patch things up. I'll kill you! <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we got to fight. Okay, uh, so... <laughs> That's a lot of bad guys. I'm really, uh, these, uh... These rat demon fellas. Abracondaloos. They are, they are nasty customers. They're low level, but they, they still got some nasty powers. So we, we want to take those out quick. The Dretch I'm not too worried about. Got a Discari Cultist. That's not good. Bunch of sharpshooters. It's, it's a bad scene. Um, we should probably go ahead and drop a bless. Just to cover everybody here. And uh, let's see. What do we got? Um, already done that. I think what we should probably do is drop some AC here. And we'll let the others kind of all play things out. Okay. Who just did the channel negative? They gotta go. Yeah, that's gonna be a real problem. 
Focus. Alright. Now everyone murder that. Oh, there is absolutely a turn-based mode built in. Um, some folks have, have asked me that every time I've, I've streamed, and um, I kind of play it half and half. I have it pause at the end of round so I can decide actions. Um, I have it so that I can kind of uh, make some tactical decisions. But I honestly find the game flows better if I kind of let it autoplay. I think for the more serious fights, I'd probably turn it on, like the big chapter bosses. Um, that might be different. But I find for most of these ordinary fights, it, it's fine to just let it let it roll. Um, we will win this war. Charisma damage. That's no good. I think she got mutilated by one of the the rat demon dealies. Um, we go to inventory here. I think it is time to chug some potions. Pause here. Together we stand. Wrong character. Delight. There we go. All right. I've got a lot of potions, so there's no reason for me not to burn potions at every opportunity. Um... Another scroll of Firebelly, another Masterwork Glaive. Nothing too special. Alright. We can get a save in. Alright, come on, Egathoa. <laughs> we got we got demons to kill. <laughs> Make a mobility check here. Have I pleased you? Hey, stop messing with that. <laughs> Please stop messing with that. <laughs> I'm asking you nicely. As soon as you step into the chamber, your vision seems to darken and your knees buckle. You struggle to keep your balance. The air in here is laden with power coming from the stone. Suddenly, your head is filled with voices, screaming, whispering, cackling, threatening, voices pleading for help, shrieking curses and taunts. You blink, and the illusion passes. Please stop messing with the ward stone. <laughs> Congratulations. You made it all the way here. This is it. Your precious ward stone. Well, what are you planning to do now, hmm? I could kill you where you stand, but wouldn't it be nice if you could die in battle like heroes? No. I want you to die in despair, scrabbling around like rats in the blighted ruins of your city, blind and broken, your flesh scabbed and seeping, and every moment knowing precisely what was done to you. Well, she's got her villain speech down. I'll give her that. <laughs> I'm going to have to practice that before I become a lich. You can't become a lich and be like, I don't know, die, I guess. I don't know. you got to work on it. you got to get some grandi grandiosity in there. She's got it. There isn't a soul that can resist the temptations of the abyss. Even a stone can be turned. I'm not joking. Your precious ward stone, weakened from the injury inflicted by Descari, has almost succumbed to my charms. Soon the whole barrier around the world wound, the gift of your useless goddess, will be a weapon of the abyss. Just a little more, and boom! <laughs> Every city with one of these eyesores stuck in the middle of it, from Canabras to Nerosian, will turn 
turn into smoking craters, and all the mortals into red sludge beneath our hooves. You got hooves? Hot. <laughs> I, I think she's serious, though. This could be a problem. I, I, I can't die yet. I'm not ready for lichdom. <laughs> so you have a choice. Especially you, my pet. Demon blows stunt in a kiss and then holds out her leg. Hoof. Pledge your loyalty to Baphomet. And when the world falls, its ruin shall be yours. What? <laughs> Who are you? Yeah, I'm just gonna let me banter. Let me let me banter. Who are you? You've already forgotten me. You mortals have awfully short memories, even shorter than your little lives. Staunton, sweetums, don't you want to introduce <laughs> me to your friends properly? No. Well, I'd better do it myself. I am Minago, newly to and faithful servant of Baphomet, and leader of his armies. The city is mine now. I'm just starting to settle in. Get things just how I like them. But once I'm finished, I promise you, the results will be simply to die for. <laughs> ah, faithful servant of Baphomet. My favorite demon lord, actually. I don't know why Baphomet's working with uh, Descari, but, you know, sometimes these things, they, they, you know, they tag team. It's like, you know, they're, they're both in the ring and they just tag team and one, one hits the barrier, they bounce off the barrier. Flying suplex, you know. And it was such a charming little place until you sullied it with your presence. It had such ah. lovely boulevards, quiet and shaded. You took those away from me, and I shan't forgive you for that. They've done much worse things than spoil the promenades. All the people they've killed. <laughs> yes, yes, of course, you're right. I grieve for the common folk as well. <laughs> Camellia's gonna get to stay in my party, I know that. <laughs> you feel righteous fury swell within you. How dare this demon besmirch the ground of this beautiful world with her hooves. A world created by gods and cultivated by mortals. All these cultists, how dare they betray all the, the all that is sacred in this world and join forces with the foulest evil. Hey, hey, hey. I'm right here. Uh, can they repent and redeem themselves, or have they followed the path of evil past the point of no return? Listen, it's not about evil. <laughs> the wardstone seems to sense your thoughts. The chamber grows silent, slightly brighter. But we're not doing the good thing. Uh, what are you? What are you doing to the stone? <laughs> well, quite. What am I doing to it? Probably the same thing I did to many of your comrades. Sweetly and tenderly persuading it to abandon the mortals and join our side. Yeah, I mean, if anybody's going to be doing the foulest evil, it's going to be the guy with the chicken. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Prepare to fight to the death, demon. We won't let that happen. Just shut your filthy mouth, scum! <laughs> Make me. Ooh. One of the sweetest spoils of war is gloating over your broken and humiliated enemy. You want to deny me that pleasure? <laughs> She's very sultry. I'll give her that. Very sultry demon. I will remember these words, scum. And I will say them back to you. Time to succumb to rage! <laughs> right now, these are these are not locked in. Later on, some of those choices will become much more important. But right now, you can kind of do what you want. I'm definitely not doing the good thing, though. So we're going to do the evil thing. Let's succumb to rage! You're sick of talking. Why do you have to listen to her? Why can't you just crush, rip, devour whoever you want? Whoever's in your way. A malevolent roar erupts unbidden from your throat. Hey, are you all right? <laughs> if you're planning on going berserk, don't forget who's friend and who's foe. There she is. The demon! Go get her! Okay. Succeeded. A will check. You send the troublesome dwarf sprawl into the floor with an elbow to the face. Time for chatter has passed. The demon Thatcher. 
wench, she must die. The rage bursts free. You want only one thing to rip Minigo's horns from her skull and shove them down her throat. Enemy approaching. Well, uh, all right, yeah, you get a, you get the bonus on caster level checks and stuff too. That's cool. Um, so we are definitely going to uh, knock down her AC here first. We're gonna do that. Uh. uh ooh, yep. Is the rest of my party going to help, or is it just is it just me? This will hurt. I'm tired of playing around now. Oh no! Want to know what will happen when I'm done with the Wardstone? Here's a little demonstration. The lightning bolt was uncalled for. I'm second level. <laughs> Demoness whispers this spell and a wave of darkness sweeps through the chamber. Her companions wince in pain, but nothing it is nothing compared to what you feel. Thousands of voices again, once again, burst into your mind, drowning you in their moans, screams, and sobs. Pain rocks through your skull. You will pay for this, demon scum. You will pay dearly. I will dig out holes where your eyes should be and pour hot coals in them. How inventive. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Powerless rage. I love it. Threaten me more. This is getting kinky. <laughs> the roar of voices blends into an unbearable wall of screaming. Your vision goes dark. Did we win? <laughs> Day, you woke up. Oh. Healing your wounds was easy, but you were unconscious for so long. I was starting to worry we'd lost you. What? Uh, what happened? <laughs> we couldn't stand up to the demoness. Her spells were too strong. <sighs> it's all right. We'll handle it somehow. You blacked out, but Staunton and I managed to get you here to the Defender's Heart. It used to be a tavern, but now it's our headquarters. We're gathering our forces here, and we're preparing to strike back. Oh, good. I found this cultist dispatch. Remember I told you about it? They're holed up in the Tower of Estrid. <laughs> Demons have been filling Canabras with their spies and infiltrators for a long time. Unfortunately, I don't have enough people to attack the place right now. At least not blindly. I'd be grateful if you snuck in there and scouted out the situation. But just scouting. Don't be a hero. Gotcha. So, I mean, don't worry. I'm not going to be a hero. My chicken okay? <laughs> Bad, but not hopeless. How's the city, I guess? We're constantly getting news, and new sources of resistance keep springing up in the districts where everyone seemed to be dead. The survivors are gathering here. You should see them. Their faces, their eyes burning with determination. The city is destroyed, but our resistance is not broken. We will keep fighting. Yeah, cool. Um, so am I, am I free to go? <laughs> what, are, what are you going to do next? You heard what the demon said. They're going to desecrate the Wardstone and blow up the whole barrier around the World Wound. Oh, that seems bad. That would be an even worse disaster than the World Wound's expansion before the Second Crusade. Not only Canabras, but every city with a wardstone will be destroyed, including the capital. We can't allow that no matter what. We will retake it, even destroy it if we must. Iomade's gift must not become a weapon of the abyss. I've already learned a lot about the wardstone, but why don't you tell me about it just so that I know that you know? The wardstones are a gift of Iomade. Created personally by her herald, a mighty angel, and a general of the Celestial Armies. 
The ward stones keep the world wound from expanding. <laughs> they stand along the border of the territory controlled by the demons, creating a barrier to keep them inside. The Canabras Obelisk was the first to be placed. It is the key to the whole barrier. We cannot leave it in the hands of those monsters from the Abyss. Can I help? That doesn't sound like something I would ask, but maybe I'll ask just so I know what to do to get her on get on her good side. <laughs> First of all, we need to decide what to do with the stone once we get it. What I'm about to say is classified. A traveler came to the city recently. A blind elf calling himself the Storyteller. The Storyteller? He insisted he be allowed to examine the ward stone, and he raised the alarm when his study was finished. Even before the demon attack, he had found some damage or flaw in the stone. Ah. Prelate Hulrun dismissed his words as nonsense, borderline blasphemy. But between you and me, the prelate's opinion isn't worth much. I think the storyteller knew what he was talking about. We could use his advice right now. If only we knew where he was. <laughs> I remember the storyteller spent a lot of time talking to Staunton, a dwarf from my unit. You saw him during the demon attack. The elf asked him about the history of the Crusades. Maybe the storyteller told Staunton something about where we could find him if anything happened. Sure. Now, the storyteller, uh, of course, is also a character from Kingmaker, uh, which uh, was not a character uh, from the Adventure Path itself. It was added as kind of a meta role uh, for, the, for the video game, and carrying it forward to this one adds some continuity between the two, so that's kind of fun. There's another problem. After the attack, the demons began to gather their forces at the Grey Garrison. It'll be even harder to take them with a head on assault, but I once heard soldiers talking about a secret entrance to the garrison. Trouble is, I have no idea where to look for it. While you explore the city, please keep your eyes open. In case you find something we can use. Huh. Okay. So we gotta try and find a secret entrance to the garrison. We gotta try and find the storyteller. We gotta sneak into the Tower of Estrid and scout around. And one last thing. Ugh, oh, come on. The Eagle Watch has <laughs> lost a lot of soldiers recently. Some were killed, but others simply haven't been seen since the attack. In the chaos that is now Canabras, it's next to impossible to confirm anything for sure. <clears throat> One of the missing fighters is Janna Aldori. A new recruit in the Watch. She got along well with Sila, and she often went drinking with her. I honestly thought Sila and Janna had died together. But now Sila's returned with you, and there's no sign of Janna. If you learn anything of her whereabouts when you're out in the city, please report back. All right, so we got an Eldori sword lord. That's always fun. It's someone to give those damn dueling swords to. <laughs> May the goddess help you. We're still fighting, which means that Canabra still hasn't fallen. If you come across any groups in the city that can fight, send them here to the Defender's Heart. We'll need every fighter we can muster for the final assault. Gotcha. <laughs> yes, one more thing. No! If you're in the area, check out this address. It's our house. Mine and Anevia's. <laughs> well, it was our house. If the building is still standing, open the hidden compartment in the kitchen. It's filled with supplies for a rainy day. You can take whatever you find. You have more need of it. <laughs> okay. I swear, I swear to Ergotho, if she says one more damn thing. Hey, hey, chicken. Follow my lead. <laughs> well, that seems like a good point to pause. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for watching, everybody. Make sure to like and subscribe for more of my video content. And while you're here, check out the link in the description for my Twitch channel. I play Wrath and other video games every Tuesday and Saturday. See you next time.